Greetings Earth enthusiasts. If you ever wondered about the incredible perspectives our planet has to offer from high above you in the right place, I am Dr. Cloud Kutsu and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this captivating journey into the world of remote sensing. Welcome. And please remember to like, subscribe to and share this video. Thank you. And the countdown continues. Next one that we're going to focus on is the so-called normalized normalized built up area index see how they're starting to play around with the with with the, with the words so that each one has its own unique name but i mean there's only so many but anyway nonetheless let's continue so we're going to do the normalized built area index okay so just recap to go back to to this just to recap which ones we've done we started with the normalized different vegetation index, the NDVI, done that one. We then calculated the normalized difference build index. We've done that, calculated that. Then derived from that is the build up index, which is this NDVI, the one here, minus the NDVI, the one there. Okay, so that's number three, but in my mind, the first build up index. Then from there we calculated the, which one did we calculate? The urban index. And then from the urban index we calculated the normalized build up area. Okay, so from there, uh, sorry, this is the one we're going to calculate it now. We have calculated the new build up index, sorry, the new build up index. So that's the ones that we've calculated, the NDVI, the NDBI, the build-up index, the urban index, and the new build-up index. That's the ones that we've calculated so far. But as I said, so far our results have not been particularly encouraging, to say the least. Not been particularly encouraging, to say the least. So let's see what this one holds in store for us. It's called the Normalized Build-Up Area Index. The Normalized Build-Up Area Index. This one here. And you see it's a little bit more complex, uh, the formula. It includes green. Okay. Um, it includes green for one. And then we're looking at the combination of the infrareds, uh, the, the short wave infrared and the short wave infrared one and the short wave infrared two. So this is one that we have green in. And I think this is the first one that we've actually brought in green. Okay, so let's have a look and see what the results are. Okay, so you've got the short wave is 11, 12 is the... Haven't we done this before? We've done this. Haven't we done this? No, sorry. It's, okay, and then the green one. Now, I've split the formula into two parts. Okay, I've split the formula into two parts, the de denominator and the numerator, just to make sure that there's no problems with bot mass. So I've done that as a numerator, and I've done this as a denominator, and obviously then I just divide the two. So that's why my formula is has two parts. So it is the short wave subtract from uh, the, the short wave divided by the green. Okay, so the short wave 2, subtract the short wave 1, divide by the green, see here, short wave 2, subtract by, short wave 1, divide, and then on top it's an add, um, and, in, in, and not the subtract, okay. So I've just split this, just to make sure that I don't have issues with bot mass, so that's a numerator, denominator, and obviously then just divide the two. So I've done three calculations to get to the answer or to get to the index okay so that's why there's a lot of lot more it's not because of the formula necessarily being much more complex although that it is the case it's a little bit more complex than the previous ones uh, but it's just to make sure that i don't run into bot mass i give it a name normalized build up area index normalized build up area index Normalized build up area index. There it sits. Okay. 
and I give it the parameters. I've, I've already done the min max, okay? I've already done the min max. And based on the min max, I have a minimum of 0 0.9 and a maximum of 1. You can see they're actually very, very close, these min max. I give it a color scheme. And I give, I, and I run it. Okay. And I normalize build up area index. They normalize build up in area index. And voila, that's how it looks. Let me just zoom out. Let's just zoom out. That's how the index looks like. Gonna get that out. Um, and you can see it's again lots and lots of orange and dark orange. So a lot of colors in that range. And um, the bins are extremely narrow. The bins are extremely narrow. So, so this is 0 0.93. So there's very little lying there. Most of the values concentrated around that particular bin. Um, so let's see if we can so if we do a black here, let's see if oh no, let's play with the color scheme around this one here. So let's play around with this one. Okay, I can move this now. I can move this. So let's go custom. Let's stretch it. Okay, so you see how close it is. So let's say apply. See if it looks any better. Oof. Nope. It's not looking better at all. Let's do, the, do that stretching. This is nope. Not much better either. I'm concerned about the values being so clustered. This looks better. Uh, but not much. Some can already say this is not really going to work. Ooh, look at this. So I can already say it doesn't matter what I'm going to try to do. So I'm not even going to go and try. I'm not even going to try. Well, I have tried it. Okay, so you can clearly see this is also futile uh, exercise in futility just for interest sake i've done a i've done a threshold and this is roughly what i've calculated so if we activate that one that's how that looks you can see again similar to the others not much of any use huh? not much of any use doesn't matter which side I go and how I work with this, it doesn't really improve uh, and uh, be able to differentiate. So even if I include the green, because this is now, you know, where the so-called benefit of this um, normalized build-up area index lies, is a fact that we bring in the green band. Just for interest sake, let's have a look and see what, Okay, so let's quickly just go and have a look. It's called the Normalized Build-Up Area Index, NBAI. And let's have a look and see. NDBI, it lies, but you look at that range. Look at the overlap. I mean, it's almost perfect, except the zero point. Look at that wide range for urban, and and it's only the zero point minus 0 0.3 to minus 0 0.69 um, which is open but you can see it's predominantly it's in a very narrow area so let's yeah so i remember just the coin so again this is lancet but it shows you the overlap and the problems with the overlap it shows you the overlap and the problems with the overlap so in a nutshell, this is going to be a short video. Um, sorry, where am I now? The normalized build-up area index, no good. Also, very little confidence that it will do the trick. Very little confidence that it will do the trick. In fact, it's not much better. 
but also, be, to be honest, it's not what worse. So now let's zoom in into. You see, it captures the urban area quite well. If we let's just quickly go there. To a large degree, it doesn't really capture that specific urban area. Where is it now? Come on. So then it's a mask. You see. It captures this area quite well, this area quite well, and to some extent that area. But again, look at this sandy patches here, this bare soil here. So, am I going to spend a lot of time on this? Am I going to focus quite a lot of it? Um, I doubt it. To be very blunt and very honest, I doubt it. There's very little difference. Um, and you can play around with the, like what we've done with the thresholds, normalized build-up area index. We can play around with the thresholds, etc., etc. Um, but it's so narrow between the minimum value and the maximum value that the overlap is just going to be too great. It doesn't matter what we're going to do. We're going to run into the same issue. So, short video show you there is something like the normal normalized build-up area index it is there and i assume that it's there because it does work um, yeah so just like now just to, that it doesn't work for me doesn't work for my region of interest doesn't mean it doesn't work for your area it might work perfect for your area it might work in the winter season uh, but for my situation, for my region of interest, for my particular period, bah, doesn't really work. And to be very honest, including the green doesn't really add much to it. Um, it doesn't make it better, but it also doesn't make it worse. So the, this, including the green versus including the red doesn't make a difference. Including the near infrared versus the short wave infrared or the short wave infrared too doesn't make a difference. So far, no difference regarding the bands and regarding the methodology. So this is a quick video just to show you that we've done it, we've calculated, we have visualized it, we've played around with the thresholds. It's ineffective in differentiating between urban areas, um, build up areas and base was ineffective in my situation okay so yeah short one i think my sh shortest video so far um we still have a couple to go we still have the band ratio for build up areas we have that one to go we've got the build up area instruction index so we've got those two still to go maybe maybe there's hope uh, let's not give up let's not give up uh, before we actually done all of them. Um, who knows, maybe our lucky break is still to come, our ship is still to arrive. We haven't got to the right one. I'm sure between all of them, we're going to have one way which works. Okay, um, but so far, all the ones, but it's a nice process to follow. It's a nice process to follow. Okay, so let's stop there for this particular video tutorial. Normalize, build up, area index there's three bands a little three bands a little bit of a complex formula in terms of bot mass um, does it work don't want to repeat myself for my case not really okay quick video quick video but we have two to go next one we're going to concentrate on the ratio for build up area we're going to concentrate on that one and see where that one leads us which path this one leads us okay so that's good. Yeah, okay. Let's pause for that. Next one around the corner. Let's say adios for now. Please remember to like and subscribe. Please share. Please, please, please. And thank you for your support. Um, let's explore this journey together. Let's continue on this journey together. Let's gain the knowledge. Let's gain the information. Let's go. And with that... I'll see you on the other side.